Hi guys. Okay, so in this video, I'm making a hand warmer mug and I threw a cylinder without a bottom. Um, so I could access both ends of the piece uh, easily and you'll see why as the video continues. You can make these with the bottom already attached, but I'm going to be attaching a, a bottom later. So I'm just cutting with an X-Acto knife, cutting a slit right down the middle. And you know, you can play with how far up and how far from the bottom that slit will be. But I think this is a pretty good place to put it. Otherwise, you know, it, it won't work too well. Um, you obviously don't want to have it way at the top. Um, so here I'm just pushing in gently and then pulling out one side. So pushing in and then pulling out that other side. So I'm doing that because this piece that I'm touching right now will be the hand warmer part. So I'm just finagling, like gently rubbing inward the part that goes like into the mug right there, that little flap, and then um, just making the basic shape so I can start to alter it. So here I wet my finger and I'm wetting that piece so I can start to gently like stretch the clay with my finger. Um, this piece was a little thinner, so I went, you know, a little lighter, um, but you can, you can really stretch the clay. You want it to be like a soft leather hard when you're making these um, so that it's easily, you know, you can move the clay around easier. So there's that little flap that I was telling you about inside. And in the next clip, um, I am going to cut that off, most of it off with an X-Acto knife. See what I mean about both ends being able to access it? Otherwise, it's, it's a pain like to do this from the top of the mug. So now I just kind of pushed that little rest of the flap like back and I'm kind of like I kind of just smushed it into the mug um, so yeah and I that piece got pulled out a little bit so I pushed it back in and now it's time to smooth and I smooth a lot as we go so here I am really getting in on that hand warmer part I'm giving that a lot of force like with my finger and water so um, I want it to be like wide enough to get my fingers in there this mug's a little bit bigger it's probably going to be for someone with bigger hands like my husband <laughs> so So now I'm like just kind of setting it up to where I want it, smoothing as I go. Like there's a lot, like I said, of smoothing with these. Um, so I'm rolling out like a random like slab, tiny little slab, because I'm going to put that piece in the inside of the mug to seal that gaping hole there. You'll see. So that's what I'm doing here in this clip. I'm just kind of lining it up to where I want it on both sides before I slip and score. Okay, so now I'm slipping and scoring or scoring and then going to slip both inside the mug and on that piece of slab 
Now, I like to have that slab like thicker in the middle. It's just a tip and like thinner towards the edge because I'm attaching the edge, the edges on the outside. But I'm going to be stretching the, the middle of that piece of slab. So that's why I tend to make it a little thicker. You'll see in a minute. So right now I'm just smoothing. Yes, there will be like a like raised kind of area in the mug, but once it's glazed and stuff, it it's they're really cool. Like I've sold so many of these, people like love them. Um, they do take a little bit of work to make. And you can make them with a slab as well. Um, I, I, we can do another video on that, but so yeah, so I'm just attaching that piece and really getting it in there good. Using my finger with water. Again, the clay is like a soft leather hard, so it's like perfect. And then I take a modeling tool and kind of like get in there to uh, merge that the seams and just get a good attachment. So I wet my fingers, so that little piece there, that slab, I'm going to have wet fingers and start to push and stretch it on the inside. So it's, there's just a little bit of an indent where your fingers will rest. And now in this clip, I am um, really getting in there with a lot of slip in that little modeling tool just to like seal seal that that um, corner there okay so back to this little center where I'm pushing in gently with my finger and shaping that pushing inwards so my fingers can rest inside it's like an indent and I'm making a thumbprint on the other side so that's what I'm doing here um, it's a really nice hand feel when your fingers are in the hand warmer part and then your like thumb rests on that on that thumb print. Okay, so on this clip, I am gently rolling out a little teeny weeny coil that I'm gonna cut in two. So I'm gonna put one there just to seal that little slit so there won't be any cracking. And then I'll also put one at the bottom where the slit is. going back in with my brush to get a little slip and uh, water in there and just really get that seam um, inside and where I put the coils just so I have a really good connection and there won't be any cracking. In this clip I'm just really using my handy dandy flexible rubber rib to just 
smooth. I spend a lot of time smoothing the top there where I attached the uh, piece of slab. So that's, that's all I'm doing here. I use my fingers, I use my rib, um, my sponge, and I'm just cleaning everything up before attaching this foot, which I cut, um, I used a cookie cutter, a circle cookie cutter, and I cut it right out of my slab. My slab roll is behind me. So I'm just using a rib to compress it and to get rid of any more marks from the canvas. Um, before I attach it. Again, we're gonna score both sides. Um, and then we're gonna slip and then attach that bottom. Okay, so now that I have the, the base on, I'm using my finger first with a lot of water to just smooth, smooth that in and attach the two before using actually a trimming tool that I would use on the wheel. But I used the wrong end first, so I wanted to use that this end. So I'm just gonna go around and around and I'm like, using quite a bit of force, um, you know, pushing in at the base, um, in and giving it some pressure to really merge the two. Then I use the other side of that tool to kind of give it like an uppercut. So it has like some sort of shape at, as the bottom. So that's what I'm doing here. Now to attach it on the inside, I'm using like a modeling tool and just doing the best I can with merging the two, the two with that tool to get like a really good attachment on the seam. And then I go in with um, a wet paintbrush and slip and really like get in there and smooth and just smooth out any marks from that tool that I was using. I'm just cleaning up any imperfections or finger marks or anything that I see that I want to smooth out. Just one last touch up. I'm going to set this off to dry. And in the next clip here, this is one that I made a couple of years ago out of a slab. That was hand built. So here's another image of it. Um, I'm getting better, I think, I at the handle part. I needed to make it a little wider, but still, people love them. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know what you think of the hand warmer mugs. Bye.